Hello, it says, this is the ANY Pony, and I have a question for you. Proclaim promptly precious Power Pony powers poorly presented previously. That's not really a question. Huh? Nick? How... Oh, right, the rift. So, what are you trying to ask, A and Y? Um, what superhero slash MLP character crossover would be awesome? But, alliterations are cool. Yes, they are! And so are bow ties and fesses! And vests! <clears throat> Anyways, I don't want to be held responsible for any asks videos withdrawal symptoms on your end, and I especially don't want to get any of you over your addiction for any of my shows. Huh, this probably could have been phrased in a less compromising way. So yeah, no matter how you feel about the episode Power Ponies, you have to admit that the idea to merge ponies with well-known superhero characters is, at least from an messing a bit around and having some fun with the concept point of view, pretty entertaining. In case you don't want to take my word for it, just check out the last 10 minutes of the CBD episode discussion. And this is also pretty much where the idea for today's question came from. What great combination of MLP characters and famous superheroes or villains can you come up with? I guess that this kind of open question requires some limitations. To put it simple, don't post entire lists. If you just list up combinations, I will only look at the first three entries and move on. If you find an interesting way of categorizing all your suggestions or some other method to make it interesting, then I might even look at bigger lists. Or forget about lists altogether. This topic actually begs for a more visual approach. Since I am busy with season 4 and real life stuff, my next asks video will probably take a while, so how about show don't tell? Written entries are as always accepted, but I think it is an awesome opportunity to show some images and maybe even videos. Thanks to the new comment system, yes I am saying something positive about the whole annoying Google Plus debacle. You can just post links directly below the video, but only links to your own creations. Going to some famous artist like JJ and posting one of his many crossover images here would be considered cheating. If you have an awesome idea but have the feeling that your drawing skills are not up to the task, or you are an artist and see a written comment with an inspiring idea you would like to draw, feel free to collaborate. Just make sure that the credit is given to everybody involved. Speaking of which, I would be very thankful if you could include your own nick somehow clearly visible in the image, so I don't have to make this kind of caption for every image. Finally, if you feel like writing a whole novel, then write a whole novel. But please not within the comments. Put it on Fanfiction or in a Google Doc and just leave the link and maybe a three sentence plot synopsis in the actual comment. To sum things up, share your ideas for interesting MLP plus superhero slash villain mergers. Pretty much everything counts. MLP canon, famous OCs, well-known bronies like for example the musicians, show staff or, I don't know, analysts. The heroes slash villains don't have to come exclusively from comic books either. Video games, movies, novels, just make sure it is not a complete no-name. As always, quality over quantity. Use the opportunity to explore different media to reply than the ordinary comments. And feel free to work together. There is no deadline yet, but I plan to put a note into the description a week or so before I want to start working on asks number 12. Last time I asked you guys to ask me stuff, and while I failed to answer any of your questions so far, you did a pretty good job answering my two questions I had for you. First I wanted to know what my Qdima could stand for. Some suggestions were rather close to my original, unoriginal idea of world domination. Even so, a few went a bit too far for my taste and imputed me with a god complex. <laughs> Others surprised me with extremely positive and idealistic interpretations of my mark. Guys, I'm an old sarcastic cynic. I highly doubt my special talent is something that glorious. But to be fair, the image my cutie mark is based on is rather idealistic. You might have picked up on that. Of course, you guys delivered the usual range of fun ideas that I love you for. My cutie mark has been interpreted as a symbol for baseball, geography, an oversight that hence exists in Equestria, my inner world I am in control of, observation and analysis, philosophy, my ability to shape the world, speaking power, my view on the world, and my reach around the world via YouTube. Waffles! I demand my waffles, or I will 
do things. Finglui Maglanatha Kasulurier Golnigal Fatagan. Or it simply just represents my love for toast. A very popular interpretation was that it symbolizes my grip, reach, handling of knowledge. For rather obvious reasons, the term of grasping was a reoccurring one. Grasp on the broad idea of the world, on intricacies, on reality or sociology, on the concept of equestria, or... To grasp the ideas, concepts and opinions of all kinds of different people and narrative. And of course, the literal interpretation of my metaphorical grasp on the world. As we know from the show, a special talent and meaning of a cutie mark can often be not simply be described in a single phrase, like magic, parties or world domination. Sometimes they symbolize rather complex concepts you can only describe but not easily point out with a single word. That's what I intend to go for from now on with the new official meaning of my cutie mark. Its meaning is a combination of the following ideas. My willingness to take on the world in my thrive to affect it, to get my viewers a better grasp on things and that for an audience worldwide. Now for the wannabe acronym ANY. Father Brony featured his own selection of comments he liked in his video. On a side note, watching his video I realized that some comments got somehow lost. I can only imagine that this has been a combination of me changing my account and later the implementation of the new comment system. Sorry to everybody whose comment got lost. Oh my, looks like give and take saw through my mischievous plan. I better continue quickly with major suggestions. Oh come on honey, make up your mind. Do you want to be serious, insulting, flirty or yummy? Huh, Sky, did I mention I hate you? Oh great, the next one is already picking up on the whole jiffing idea. What is wrong with you? How could you even reach such an absurd conclusion? I would never jiff. Because I don't like wearing a fursuit. Those things are damn hot inside. As expected, I also got a bunch of random suggestions. Oi! I'm not that loud. Or negative. And of course the flatterers try to make me blush again. Stop it guys, I'm not good at dealing with compliments. But I have to say I love the last one. Too bad I'm not Jewish because Jiddish would actually be an awesome solution for the whole why question. Here are some nice ideas I like but that were unfitting for actual use for one reason or another. The following ideas were pretty interesting but I dismissed them after all. Grace's idea of the A to the Y with Z being the one aspect beyond one's understanding is pretty cool and deep. Even so I would have left out the whole religious aspect if I would have adopted the idea. I decided against it because it still requires a lot of explanation when somebody asks me for the meaning of A and Y. Extending Noetics Jeddah. The fact that you need to include the dictionary definition for each term so one can even understand what it is supposed to mean is at the same time amazing, but also the reason I have to dismiss it. Sorry, Dines Jack. And why, Pony? Simple, smart, reflects my tendency to question a plethora of topics. Sadly, it's a bit hard to convey without showing the whole formula in written form. A and Y as a short for anonymous. We are Legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. Too bad I am not really going for the whole staying anonymous angle with my vlogs and stuff. Atomic bombs and you. Sounds like an educational book you would come across in the world of Fallout. Funny, but not really fitting. Analyzing neutral you stuff. I like the idea of neutrality and the presentation of my focus on entertainment in form of stuff for the younger folks. However, that would only fit for this very channel, but for none of my others. The idea of a split personality, one represented through the A, the other through the Y. I truly love that idea. Sadly, the way I build my channel, it simply does not allow for that concept. How about assessing narrative YouTuber? It seems appropriate enough. You have a good idea of what works and what doesn't in story and narrative in general. Basically a real good one, but it just does not roll off the tongue easily. Analytical Nietzsche Yonaguni. Analytical for talent, need for presentation, and Yonaguni is an incredibly rare small pony breed from the southwest of Japan whose origin is a mystery. Another one I like, but I have to dismiss since it would only work for my brony channel. This play with capitalization you two bring up is rather fun. Then again, it is another one of those who only really work in written form. 
Yeah, I wish the useful part would be true. In that case, I would probably just go with this one. But I started my channel at 28, so that one is off the table, I'm afraid. As you probably already picked up on, there is a certain tendency to go with analysis for A. And, well, it is kind of fitting, isn't it? Even for both my other channels, ANY Corp was about reviewing your reviewers, and ANY Opinion Counts is looking at the world through the glasses of reason. Now, what about the why? YouTube? Yeah, kind of works, but what if I ever move to a different platform? My close second was yearning, and I would probably have gone with that if it hadn't been for analysis and you. People made the point that I am looking for an unusual high interaction with my viewers. Examples would be my Ask series, editing streams and so on. It also has a nice ring to it, is rather self-explanatory without being too dull. So yeah. I am ANY, Analysis and You, here to share my grasp on the world with you, even if it means pissing people off every now and then, all in the attempt to affect people for the better. See you all soon in 2014.